So once you're a digital media student, you, you, you might be wondering, well, what's it, what's it going to be like? What, what, am, what can I expect? What's the work going to be like? Is there homework? Is there not homework? Is it the computer? Am I programming all day or what? Well, one of the things I want you to think about is, yes, we're in the computer science and information technology uh, branch of the college. And we use computers as our tool, much like an artist used the paintbrush or colored pencils uh, or clay to create something, to communicate. We use the computer. We don't focus so much on the, the nitpickiness of the computer, but we try to use it as a form of expression, as a means to express an idea. So you have to be versed in artistic terminology and understanding, elements and principles of design. What are they? What do they mean? How do I use them? Uh, we also have to be thinking about film and cinematic areas, you know, with camera tools and how to tell a story and pacing and rhythm and all those kind of things. So you have to think like an artist, but you also have to work with the computer. So you have to deal with the, the limitations and the way the computer can help you uh, as well. And so you have to be uh, able to focus on those kind of details. You might work a lot of t a long time on a project, uh, and then you'll get a critique. So we critique them just like you would in the art classes. They, we put show the work, and then we all discuss and talk about it. And so that's something that students have to become uh, used to. I, you have to be used to people making comments about your work, positive and negative feedback, and making revisions. Do it again, do it again, do it again until it's right or working properly and then it's improved. And so I want you to be thinking about that. You really have to put in work in these classes. It, doesn't, it isn't just a push to the button and voila, the computer does the work for you. It isn't like that at all. It is something that takes skill and it takes practice and you need to have a pride in what it is you're doing and have some craftsmanship you know, put in the work to make a superior product. So once you've finished all our classes, the next step is to move on to another school where you can earn your bachelor's degree. Now we have a fantastic relationship with a school in Indiana called IUPUI, or UIPUI, or the Indiana University, Purdue University at Indianapolis. Now, they accept our credits pretty much straight in, and you can go over there. We have students over there now, and they are enjoying the experience. Other students have gone on to Savannah College of Art and Design, SCAD in Atlanta. Other students have gone up to Chicago, to DePaul. Uh, we have students going to Columbia University. And there are a few people who have skills that allow them to go straight from Parkland out and get a job in the industry somewhere. Most students have to take the time to earn another their degree, a bachelor's degree, or continue their education. And so I encourage you to think about that. Where do you want to go from here? You can have the experience coming in and experience all of these great opportunities in digital media. And so I have to wonder, what will you create with these skills and what will you be doing in the future?